The VideoLAN Media Player is a cross-platform application that supports many audio and video file formats. Within this application, there are an array of options known as preferences that a user can change to their specifications. The VLCRC is a text-based configuration file that stores a user's preferences. In this demonstration, we'll be using the VLC Media Player for Windows, Notepad++, and Microsoft's WinDiff. Notepad++ will be utilized for modifying the VLC RC file, and WinDiff will be put to use to compare the difference between two files. To begin, I will install VLC 2.01 onto Windows 7. For network access policy, I will uncheck both options. With the VLC media player installed, I will now remove the installer and briefly examine the preferences under Tools. As you can see, there's an array of options within the VLC Media Player. And now we will examine the VLC RC configuration file by clicking on Start, typing in percent app data percent backslash VLC. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a backup copy of the VLC RC file by right clicking, select copy, and right click again, select paste, Now we're going to copy the absolute path of the location of the VLC RC file by clicking on the address bar, right click, select copy, minimize, and now I'm going to open up WinDiff. Select file, compare files, and on this address bar, I'll left click, and then I'll right click, select paste, and hit the arrow. We are prompted to select the first file, which is the VLC RC file. And now we're prompted to select the second file, which we want to compare against, which is the VLC RC copy file, which is considered the original. As WinDiff has indicated, both files are identical, which is correct. We are now going to make random changes to the VLC media player and examine the changes within WinDiff. So now I'm just going to uncheck and check random options. Click on save. Close VLC and reopen WinDiff and highlight number one. Click View, Rescan Selected File. WinDiff has detected that the VLC RC file is more recent than the VLC RC copy file. Clicking on Expand will provide more details as to what was changed between the two files. On the far left side appears to be a vertical graph with one bar representing the VLC RC and the second bar representing the VLC RC copy file. Within each vertical bar is a horizontal indentation which signifies a difference between the two files. On the right side are the contents of both files, with the difference 
being indicated with the highlighted red and highlighted yellow. The highlighted red is the content of the first file, which is the VLC RC, and the highlighted yellow is the content of the second file, which is the VLC RC copy file. And now I would like to restore the VLC RC file back to its original state by reopening the VLC folder, copying the VLC RC copy file to the desktop, and renaming the file back to VLC RC. and using this file to replace the VLCRC file inside the VLC folder. And now both files are identical and back to its original state. I can check both files by clicking on WinDef and rescan selected file. And as you can see, both files are identical. In this final segment, I will show you a bug that is current within the VLC 2.01 Windows version and how to work around the bug by using the VLC RC configuration file. I'll open up VLC Media Player under Tools, Preferences, click on All, select Playlist. If I check repeat all and repeat current item, the setting should be saved, but when I exit VLC and reopen the VLC media player, under tools, preferences, select playlists, as you can see, the setting has not been saved. The workaround to this bug is to edit the VLC RC file manually by using a text-based editor. To maintain the correct VLC RC formatting, we cannot use Windows Notepad or Windows WordPad. Therefore, we will be using Notepad++ to make changes. I will reopen the VLC folder and drag the VLC RC file to my Notepad++ shortcut. To quickly find what I'm looking for, I'll search for the word repeat. To activate repeat all and repeat current item, I'll have to uncomment and change the value of 0 to 1. For loop equals 0, I'll remove the number sign and change the value of 0 to 1. And for repeat equals 0, I'll remove the number sign and change the value of 0 to 1. And I will save it. And reopen VLC Media Player to check my new settings. And as you can see, repeat all and repeat current item are now active because of the changes that were made within the VLC RC configuration file. We can perform one last analysis using WinDef to 
to check the VLC RC file against the original copy of it. And as you can see, the VLC RC is more recent because of the changes that were made manually. And the highlighted red and the yellow indicates the changes and the difference. In conclusion, if you make preference changes to the VLC media player, it's normally a good idea to back up the VLC RC file in regards to Microsoft's WinDiff. It is an amazing tool if you ever need to compare files. There is a similar tool on Unix called Diff that does the same thing but without the graphical user interface. Thank you for watching.